So since tree stands are coming out tomorrow on Call of the Wild, I thought there's no way we can't play Call of the Wild today. And we also haven't been on Hirschfelden in a long time, so I thought let's head out to Hirschfelden and see what we can find. Oh, and first up, I actually found a track from a pretty heavy fallow buck, which I wasn't sure if it was big enough to be a diamond, so rather than being sorry, we decided to play it safe and assume it might have been a diamond. So there's a chance there's a diamond fallow buck right up over here. There he is. Shot looked pretty good. And he's down. I don't know how big he is. Didn't get a spotting on him. But I know he has a pretty heavy track. Either way, he should be a monster. So there he is right there. Because I don't know how big he is. Uh, he's not big enough to be a diamond. Let's just pick him up. 171. Luckily, we kept our consecutive harvest there as well. We got a single lung hit at 16 yards out. So that's definitely the one we want. He's a big four bison and he's about 100 yards away. We got to get to at least 60 to go for a shot. All right, so I can see him. He's right there about 42 out, but you can see there's another one right in front of him here. And he's kind of obstructing our shot. We could go for a spinal cord at 42. We have a perfect win, but man, is that risky. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to try and slide forward just a little bit and maybe get underneath this tree here. Actually, we might even crawl up on top of this rock. If we can do that, we should be within about 30. And if we crouch up, we should have a nice angle at that big four. Oh, I like this, I like this, I like this. 27 yards out, perfectly broadside, and he's bedded. Let's back down a little bit. Let's get our bow out. So we'll go for 25. Wait till the wind calms down a little bit. Shot looked really good. Yep, we got him. He's going down. Let's do a consecutive check on this. I think we got single lung on that one, but that big one should be down. All right, so maybe we only got a single lung. How is this guy down so fast? I'm confused. We ended up getting double lung liver on him and stomach or on her. She only ran 27 yards, 100% on everything. And the one that we tried to make an even better shot, uh, he went a little bit further. Not too far, I guess. I'm thinking we're still going to get probably close to like an 85, 90% of the quick kill on them. All right, let's pick him up. And 87%. I will take it. Trophy rating of 232 and a total score of 865 on him. We did manage to get double lung. We we're actually a little bit too high there. I would have liked to have been a little bit lower, but still not a bad shot. 28 yards out and a nice gold bison. That looks pretty cool like that, actually. Let's get him mounted for sure. Okay, so we just got eyes on two really nice fallows. They're both big fours, but they're not quite big enough to go after with a bow. So we're going to try and take a shot of this guy here really quick. And then there's another one right across the field. Oh, he's... That was so perfect. Why did he have to do that? Okay, there's a branch right there. Shot was good. Very nice. I was kind of concerned we might hit that branch, but it looks like we made a nice shot. And there goes a couple more females out there. Can we get a consecutive check right next to him? That was intestine, but it definitely should take her down. Well, since this row is just going to stand here, we'll take a shot. And we are at 100%. Now let's go over here and we should be able to pick up our big fallow buck and then we'll track down that female after. All right, here he is. Let's take a look. 847 with a trophy rating of 164. So pretty much the same size as the one we got earlier with the bow. He weighed 193.69 pounds. And we got a right lung hit at 364 yards out. That is a pretty far shot. We were a little bit high on that, but still. Nice shot, and another nice fallow down. Let's get him mounted as well. 
All right, here's our female down. Let's pick her up. Yep, straight to the stomach intestine at 375 yards out. Not bad. All right, here's our other one. I wasn't actually zoomed in at the right distance on this one, so... Yeah, the first shot was pretty horrible. I really would have thought we would have got more than 9% in there. Are you serious right now? Interesting. That's still really cool, though. Nice position for this fallow buck to go down. So it just so happens that we have a female fox out here at about 280 yards out. Let's take a shot with the Mosin. Beautiful shot. She didn't even move. Can we get another one? A little bit too high. But definitely didn't miss that time. And a four easy wild boar. If he slows down, we might get a shot at him as well. Just have to reload here real quick. All right, so if he turns broadside. <sighs> shot looked pretty good. Might have been just a touch high. No, we definitely got lung on that. And I should take him down. Can we put another one into him? I don't know if we can or not. I feel like we should. Uh, he's going down. Can we get another one? I think we hit that thing right in the head. Is that the one we hit? Which one did we hit? Oh, we hit this one. Yep. Well, I guess she's not coming back. So let's go over it. We'll pick up the two fox and the two wild boar. Well, hopefully two. All right, here's the first fox that we got. And we hit her at 236. Looks like we got upper neck, skull, and jaw. Wow. And here's our other fox. This was a male. We hit it one time in the skull and jaw. That should have been a brain shot. Just missed it at 275. I believe this is our male. It is our big male. 111 with a score of 771. Got shoulder blade and right lung on him at 320. And there she is. Intestine at 318. All right guys, so here we are back in the trophy lines. We decided to get our 860 scoring bison mounted right here. I think he looks really good. And our 860 scoring fallow buck right over here. So yeah, we put both these guys here and they look really good. So yeah, that was a pretty awesome hunt. We stalked up to about 20 yards away and made a pretty awesome shot on this big bison. And I think that's going to be a good way to end this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and we'll see you next time.